Hey everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shearer coming to you from IDS with some really cool updates here. I'm walking around the exhibit hall, just kind of checking out some of the latest in digital technology. And I'm always kind of caught with my eye of just kind of some really creative marketing as well as kind of adapting existing technology to an applicable place in clinical practice or in the laboratory or in the educational practice. And I came across MetaThink. MetaThink is making a bold claim here, which is the world's first digital loop. And I'm like, my goodness, that caught my eye. So I had to stop by and check out what they're considering is a digital loop. So I'm asking myself the same question. What do you mean? Do I have like special prisms or anything in there? Essentially, what they've developed is a VR headset that's wireless, that has a few cables, but a pretty robust battery. I've been told it can last for quite a long period of time, but it's just really cool. When we start thinking about what we can do with you see with the, the computer behind me as I'm moving around and looking here and there's Dr. Chotel right there. What is this? Is it a VR headset? Is it like a meta thing or something? No, I was told that this is a very, very latest innovation in just applying this to clinical practice or to potentially an educational practice. So let's go ahead and just kind of jump right in. I'll do a clinical procedure and I'll come back with a little bit more details and information about the system. All right, so now once we've gone ahead and we've gone over some of the basics and fundamentals of the digital loop, let's jump right into going ahead and popping it on my head, seeing what it's like when I wear this when doing a clinical procedure. And what happens too is this is a really pretty convenient little box that I hold on to. It's just kind of like a wireless pack. It has a charging station so I can keep it charged. And I'm told that it can go ahead and accommodate approximately two hours of use at a time. And if the, if the battery starts to run out, I can always replug it back in and go ahead and continue to work with it on. Pretty convenient. So I'm going to keep this wirelessly here off to the side. As I instantly kind of look at this, I notice that it's got some cables and things on the back, and that's key to going ahead and having the data transmission as well as making sure that it stays linked to the battery pack. As I start to go ahead and place it on my head, I've got a little slider here on the top portion that makes it comfortable for guys that's got, you know, a large head. <laughs> but as I go ahead and I pop this on here too, it's pretty easy. And I instantly start to go ahead and see that it's very comfortable as I go ahead and put it on there. And as I look at it, I'm taking a look here at it through my fingers and making sure that everything is calibrated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have a seat. As I have a seat, I also have a wireless uh, remote control that allows me to go ahead and look through my computer lens and my digital loop, and I can do zoom in and zoom out. It'll also allow me to focus instantly here on my denture or on anything that I'm working on. Additionally, I have a button here that allows me to go ahead and have instant exposure. So then that way, if the mouth or the overhead light changes, it very quickly modifies it for me. So as I go ahead and I keep this over to the side, I'm gonna keep zoomed out all the way because I imagine I'm gonna sit down here with a patient and take a look at my patient. And I have a dentate patient as I'm gonna take a look at here. And I can instantly see that this is just really cool. And I can keep my posture. If you take a look here at me as I'm sitting here, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my posture in an ideal position. Then I grab my intraoral mirror and imagine I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at my patient's dentition and say to myself, gosh, I'd love to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna set that down for a moment, grab my remote control and gosh, what does the occlusal look like? No problem. Come in here, take a look at it and it auto focuses. Amazing. Same thing as imagine I'm looking here and looking at this tooth. I want to check interproximal in those positions or here on the maxillary arch. I can look, there's a little bit of calculus on the lingual right in here. And I can zoom in just to go ahead and check some of the details. And now from somebody that only really wears a two and a half time loop, this is what my normal power is with my standard dental loops. But what I may be missing is by being able to zoom in almost like a microscope. So let's go to 4X. Or to 5X. The depth and detail here is just incredible.
Now as I go ahead and I put my dentate model to the side and I take a look here at my edentulous model, I've got my patient with his locator abutments in place. And I can go ahead and check to make sure everything is healthy with that locator abutment. And I can seat the patient's locator overdenture. Pop that out and zoom in and zoom out. Now as you notice as well too, what's really impressive is, is I can go ahead and take a look at this with very straight back and posture position. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. As I'm sitting right here, I'm in a very natural, comfortable position. So as I'm looking at my locator abutment up close, this can also give me an opportunity where I can go ahead and zoom in really close on my locator abutment and use my Explorer to verify that I don't have any plaque or debris. Amazing. And one thing that's critically important as I zoom out a little bit, one really powerful thing about having a digital loop is, is I can change my position of the patient and keep my head steady. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate here. I can grab my hand and reposition where the digital loop camera goes. As my patient moves his or head down, I'm like, where'd the patient go? No problem. I just reposition. So then that way I keep my body and my posture perfectly oriented so that way it's comfortable for me. As the patient moves his or her head up, no problem. I can move up the camera to look at the patient from a distance which will greatly enhance the ability to work intraorally as well as full arch prosthetics. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the Mediscope here, take a look at it because this has been a pretty cool innovation here at IDS. One thing that's really powerful about this particular idea and concept of a digital loop is the fact that I can also go ahead and pair multiple digital loops to my camera. So then that way I can have my dental assistant on there or a participant that would be attending one of my CE courses to be able to go ahead and follow along here as we're going ahead and doing the clinical procedure. So everybody, this has been a really cool demonstration here of the world's first digital loop looking here at IDS and some of the emerging technologies here. This is Dr. Michael Shearer looking at some of the latest in digital technology here from IDS. Stay tuned because the world's first digital loop is available in the U.S. and very importantly, hopefully coming very soon. We'll see you later.